All right, you crazy creeps. What's going on? It's Clear Ski and I'm back. And we are starting today's vlog right here on Northeast Sandy Boulevard in Northeast Portland. And I wanted to show you guys this sweet little mural. I always like to start the vlog off with little parts of the town, feature parts of where we're at. And if you look closely, there's like some ice cream cones and some other really cool art, which is all up and down Sandy here. But what I wanted to take you guys to wasn't too far from here. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Here's some more sweet little, little characters and all up and down this Sandy Boulevard is a bunch of sweet art like I just showed you guys back there. But what we're going to is right up here. If you guys can see about where my finger is, you can see in the distance there a seven up sign. And on the very tip top rests a little tiny bottle, which for many years was the iconic 7-Up bottle here in Portland. And if you would just say that, people would basically knew what you meant. And this sits right off of Sandy and is the home to the Portland Bottling Company. And we're going to go up here and get a couple better shots and maybe find some oldies online. Oh, I guess this whole, this whole wall's done all up and down here. But we're gonna go down here a ways and check out the old Portland Bottle Company, so stay tuned. So still standing strong since 1941, this is the Portland Bottle Company. If you guys can see the like Art Deco style building with the round windows on each side. And like I said, since 41, they've been packaging uh, Seven Up products. And nowadays they actually still do the same. It is fully operational. But the little 7-Up bottle that was there for years is no longer. It's actually a Gaiyaki Herba Mate, which I was able to find signs of them actually replacing the sign at one point. But like I said, for many years, if you would go up and down, which was then the band, known as the Banfield, now I-84, you would see the iconic bottle resting right up top there, like I showed you guys when we were a little bit farther down sandy you could see it but i wanted to show you guys what the building looks like today and we're going to go around the front here and see if there's any other little relics of the past so see you in a sec awesome i can see the front of the building a little better here now that we're across the street you guys probably might be able to see me and hear me a little better as well but right here like i said since 41 the portland bottle company and if you look up top there there's that that rose which I will tell you guys a little bit more about here in a minute as well, but this is the Dreth Free Winston Rose, and each year a Portland artist would create different roses and place them intricately around town, and every year they would dedicate a rose to someone. So this rose is dedicated to this gentleman, and then there's a couple other little roses around Portland as well. But if you can see from this side, you can actually still see the seven. As I pan the camera in here a little farther, you can actually get a way better view of the seven. Let me get over here to the side here. Oh yeah, look at that. The full seven up action there on this three-sided sign. You can even see the little bubbles, the little circles up there on the sign as well. That's so cool. Yep, I remember seeing that all lit up you can actually see where the light bulbs were on it too if you look real closely here is the front view with the door with the little circular top there and a better view of the actual portland bottle company sign but if you veer up here back in the day and it looks like i think this sign actually was spinning around too it would go 360 degrees just from where it sits now is a little different from other shots so I'm pretty sure it, it would swivel as well but I love these art deco style little notches in the roof and then of course like I said the rounded style door with all the little intricate glass windows creepers as I peek the camera inside the front door here I actually notice the sign on the door here the portland bottle company classic emblem and if you look there it actually has the seven up sign right up top there and then this is the gaiyaki 
I believe I'm pronouncing that right, Herba Mate, which is actually pretty good. I believe it's like a root tea, but as I poke the camera in the front door here, check this out, you guys. This is so cool. Some old relics of the past. I think that's a a bottle press or maybe, you know, a bottle capper there on the far right. I could be wrong. And then that is a, a little ice-cold cooler. And it looks like it says 7-Up on there as well. And Diet Red Cola. But check this out on the left as I focus the camera in a little bit better. If you look closely, that little glass case there full of all the old 7-Up bottles with the original cap and 7-Up. And if you look closely, the third one in on the top shelf from the left is the 1977 Portland Trailblazers, which is our NBA team. That's their championship bottle that 7-Up printed for them right here. Gosh, how cool is that? And then, of course, the old-school panel windows man that is awesome I love the old relics in here and then the giant bottle cap as well for their sign so cool and as I zoom the camera up you can get a really good view of the actual bottle which is now the Gaiaki Mate but for many years was a giant 7-up bottle man I'm gonna peek the camera in here just for a second I don't want to outwear my welcome or upset anybody, but here's their actual warehouse, which looks like they are in the process of brewing some items, maybe with some growlers there, but look at these big vats. Maybe these are used for beer now, but if you can see, basically this is an old style warehouse, so I'm not sure if they're actually still bottling soda. Maybe they just changed to the mates and the beers, but these vats are enormous. They could basically hold you know, any concoction. <laughs> I'd love to get in here and see how things are done. Kind of looks like an episode of Mr. Rogers or something. But let's creep around this other side and see if we can get the back side of this bottle here. Like I said, I just love the layout of this building anyway. It's pretty darn cool with the roof being kind of hinged like this. It looks like they got a little production line of some drinks they're working on. These guys are hard at work. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> the guy was thirsty. <laughs> that was hilarious. But yeah, if you guys can see, the packages go down here. And then it looks like maybe they're labeled or stamped, but these guys are sorting everything. Oh wow, they got a whole bunch in there. Look at that. Pretty cool to see it actually. You can peek the camera in and actually seeing it being made. That's pretty cool. And here's the actual back side of the building. And you can see the 7-Up really good from here. If we can get a little brightness on the camera here. But yeah, still, still rocking all these years. Just that one side's covered up. Pretty cool. A couple more sweet marrows here. Just to block down from where we were. That is incredible. Yep, that is very sweet. That's probably one of the best ones I've seen so far. I really like those colors. It's freaking sweet. What you guys out doing? Oh, very cool. Well, nice to meet you, brother. I like your little guy here. What's his name? Her, her name she's oh. girl parrot, um, Captain Jackie. Hi, Captain Jackie. Hello. Oh, you are such a pretty bird. She's an orange thing on the zone. So cool. And she likes going out and about, biking around. It looks like it. Uh, yeah, a while back I took her to uh, one of the protests over by Revolution Hall. She was in the Oregonian because she was squawking. <laughs> well, she's awfully pretty. Bye, pretty bird. You want, you want to say hello? Hello. Okay. She says no when I go to take her out. <laughs> She don't want to leave. She wants to keep yeah. keep rolling with you. That's cool. Well, thanks yeah. for sharing, brother. Yeah. Well, she, she's an immigrant. She's banded. She came in from Col uh, South America. So. Well, she's I very took her, pretty. Took her to one of the immigrant ride protests a while back. Very cool. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. So she just stays there while you ride your bike. Yeah, she won't leave. <laughs> she's. Uh oh. 
<laughs> well, thanks for being on the vlog there, buddy. Yeah, okay. You okay, can. you guys, bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that was awesome. You just never know what you can see in Portland. I love it. Great little city. Check this out. So I got super thirsty because I've been creeping up and down Sandy Boulevard trying to bring you guys some cool things here and show you that. 7 up bottle, but look what I found at the local little market here. An actual bottle of really cold 7-Up. And I am excited to take a big schwill off of this because I'm thirsty and I love 7-Up. And after doing all that vlogging, I've worked up a thirst and actually was craving 7-Up. I'm always a go-to ice cold 7-Up in the can. But when I saw the bottle, it won. So let's give this a whirl. I'm excited. It's been a while since I've actually had it in the bottle. It's not a twisty, but I remember an old trick a friend of mine taught me. He actually used to open the bottle with his teeth, <laughs> but I'm going to pass on that. But I remember an old trick a buddy of mine showed me with a lighter, and there was actually an old one laying here right on the ground. So check it out. Boom. In fact, it may have been twist off, but I always like doing that anyways. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But I'm going to keep this just for for good time's sake here. Just to remember that we did the vlog on the Portland Bottling Company. And heck, who knows? This probably came from there. Um, oh, actually, it says product of Mexico. I think they put a real sugar as opposed to the, like, you know, high fructose uh, corn syrup that's normally in these. But let's give it a whirl, I'm excited. First time having a 7-Up in the bottle and visiting the old 7-Up bottle, pretty cool. Makes for a good day. Oh, that's refreshing. And literally, the market was just like a block from here. So it's still nice and ice cold. But it looks like, yeah, this is a uh, produced in Mexico so it doesn't look like it actually came from the Portland bottling because uh, they use like I said a real sugar as opposed to the other ingredients but no matter what I love 7-Up so well worth it I think it was like a buck and a quarter maybe a little bit more um, but I always enjoy it um, like I said in the can but when I saw the bottle after doing that vlog I said heck it and got me a an ice cold 7-Up. And like I said, I'll definitely try my best to put in some old-timey shots of that cool Art Deco style building down there. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it. I'm just gonna kinda sit back here in this little, this little park. I'm actually over in Southeast Portland now, so I'm gonna creep back to the homestead, get some dinner and call it a night. So I love you guys very much. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, to really cool places like the Portland Bottle Company and see an old Portland relic. You guys will be the first to creep, but I love you very much. Until next time, Creeper out for now. Peace. Love you guys. Ah, that is super refreshing. <laughs>